The last video focused on going project crazy with your class material, but I'm here to tell you that you should actually go project crazy all the time and start working on independent projects right away. So let's say you're taking a web development course and you've never touched anything within there. You know eventually there's going to be an easier way to process form data, but you know at this point in your career, you have no idea how to do it. You're just learning basic HTML and CSS. Start creating an independent project even if the class doesn't require it. You'll quickly find the limitations of the knowledge that you have and it's going to be easier for you to transition when you actually learn the material that's necessary in order for you to achieve whatever goal that you're trying to achieve. Sticking with the HTML CSS example, you're not going to learn everything inside the classroom environment. There's just not enough time. They just teach you the basics and they want you to progress and learn on your own afterwards. So you may start off and then deep dive into your own research, buy some additional books, and start creating some pretty interesting stuff, stuff that you're not even doing in class, but it's just interesting and it's keeping you pushing forward. As you learn more stuff throughout your class, you pretty much repeat the same process and you optimize your project or start working on a new project once you realize that you know the project that you're doing has to be pretty much abandoned. At the end of the class, you'll have all your class material, all the projects that you've done in there, but also your independent project and I guarantee you that if you take the time it's going to be so much more than you could have ever dreamed for. The beauty of being in a classroom environment even if you're learning stuff outside of the class and you get stuck on something most of the time you can go to the professor during their office hours and ask for some additional assistance. 